Welcome to Health 315. I am your teacher, Mickey Janczewski, and this slide presentation is designed to go over the expectations for the course and to give you some pointers on how to do well in the course. So the key points to passing Health 315, I'm sure you have heard this is a very serious class with very critical assignments. You need to take the assignments seriously. You need to schedule time in your calendar to spend at least nine hours a week in a 15-week class, which is what this is, for writing and preparing for lessons. If you do exactly what I ask you to do, you will be successful. And this is the class where you find out that you can no longer write your assignments at the last minute. If you try to write your assignments for this class the day they are due, Typically, you will not do well in the class. So here are some helpful tips. You have to work hard all semester. You cannot fall behind. Once you fall behind in the assignments, it is almost impossible to catch up. Although you are not working with a group to write your grant, you need to stay engaged with your grant group. If there are five of you working on one grant, you need to share your ideas and thoughts to help process the grants. Each of you will write your own grant, but oftentimes you can share material that you found with each other. The third item, learn what your grant or funding opportunity announcement is asking you to do. If your grant is asking you to prepare training for healthcare professionals, then that's what you have to write. You cannot write whatever you want. You have to write exactly what the grant tells you to do, which covers the next item also. There are several assignments in the class where you can rewrite them. When you have the opportunity to rewrite something, you should rewrite it. When you get back your papers in this class, there will be extensive comments on them. You need to review the comments and understand them. You need to take the recommendations that are given to you, and you need to use them when you rewrite your paper. Each of the six papers that you write in this class will lead you up to your final paper, which is your grant. When should you worry? You should worry if you get behind in class assignments. I also send out routine emails reminding you if you're falling behind or you're in danger of failing. Anytime I am worried about your grade, you will hear from me in an email. These are some other important issues that will help you be successful. The first one is you need to learn and use APA format for your writing of papers. That is what the college recommends, the university uses. So you either need to buy the book that's recommended for this class, or you need to use Purdue Owl or Cook Library on how to use APA format. You have to make sure your spelling and grammar are correct. The book that is required for this class covers APA format and spelling and grammar. So all in one book, you can get all the information you need for the class. The Writing Center on campus is very helpful and they can help you with organizing your paper and your spelling and grammar. In relation to organizing your paper, you need to make sure all papers have an introduction, a body, and a summary. Your introduction is not just an introduction to the topic, but it is an introduction to your paper. An introduction should briefly tell the topic and then the introduction should tell the reader exactly what is going to happen in the paper. The body of the paper does exactly what you said in the intro, and the summary summarizes what you did. So the intro tells the reader what they're going to read, the body makes that happen, and the summary tells the reader what they've just read. Make sure you proof your papers before you submit them and follow the directions that are given. Every assignment has a very clear scoring rubric. When I grade your papers, I grade them based on the rubric. 
If you do what is told to you in the rubric, you typically will do very well on the assignment. So that concludes this slideshow. What we're going to do next is we're going to have a slideshow on the syllabus, and we're also going to have a slideshow after that on Blackboard. Thank you for watching the slideshow, and I look forward to meeting you in class.